What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news and it is news that we have been waiting for for a long time now man. It is finally upon us. It is time to talk about the new and next WWE Mattel crowdfunding project from Mattel and WWE for the year of 2023 and it is insane stuff we got a lot of stuff going on with it and I'm excited to get into it with you talk about it you know tell you the things I like I don't like you know get into the whole spill about it maybe a little bit of conspiracy maybe a little bit of speculation maybe some predictions we're gonna get into all of it here today in this video man so let's buckle the hell up and talk about what we got to talk about today man so if you guys were unaware yesterday evening I think it was or maybe it was yesterday morning action figure attack my boy Steve took to the Mattel or the wrestling figure forums and he basically said you know tune in to my Instagram tomorrow we're going to talk about the crowdfunding project so everybody was really high on it they were waiting for it and today this was posted up to Mattel Creations it says hey WWE Universe you guys can see there there's a photo it says WCW Monday Nitro it says I know you've been waiting and the new WWE crowdfund is coming next week and we're taking you back to the Monday Night Wars while we get ready for the official announcement we wanted to give you an early sneak peek at what will be the official crowdfund discussion forum what do you think will be dropping? We can promise you it will be truly explosive. Steve, Action Figure Attack, Global Brand Marketing Manager, Action Figures, Mattel. So lots of stuff to unpack there, man. I mean, first of all, it looks to be, just at the first glance, if you looked at this article or you looked at this little post here, you would immediately assume this is going to be WCW, this is going to be Monday Night Nitro, this is going to be, it's going to be that stage that we saw just last year at San Diego Comic-Con 2022 in the Monday Night Nitro stage. It had Goldberg on the front, you know, standing in the entranceway with the smoke blowing out. We got to see a bunch of figures on the stage and stuff like that. And that is what it looks to be is going to be the next crowdfunder. Now, I got a lot of moans and groans. I got a lot of people saying they're super excited for it, if that is all. But I think there's levels to this because I don't think it's going to be as just black and white transparent as it looks on the surface. It's wild because in this post, it does say we're taking you back to the Monday Night Wars and if you guys think about that and look at that I've had lots of people thinking I got this comment from CMW Toys and I got a lot of messages and comments about this exact same thing they say Raw and Nitro combo incoming go back and take a look at the parts used on both stages a lot of the same parts and I compared the two I'll bring up both of them here and you can definitely tell but I mean a lot of the same parts I mean it's Mattel building them both so they're probably going to use a lot of the same materials they're going to use a lot of the same specs and things like that to build these stages because they're both stages they're both made by Mattel so they're going to be very uh they're going to be very similar in the case but I think there could be a little bit of truth to this I think that that could be a thing a two-in-one but I'll get into that later let's just take this as what we see it as like this is probably going to be a long-winded video because I want to get all of my discussions out there I want to get all of my thoughts that I wrote down when I first saw this when I first talked about it in my brain. I was analyzing it, kind of digesting what we could see as the Mattel crowd funder. And let's just take it right now as a WCW Monday Night Nitro stage. Like, what if this is it? What if this is what we're going to be getting? This full stage with the WCW, all of it, working lights, all this different stuff. My first thoughts on this were it's a badass stage, right? It looks beautiful. The working lights, the ramp, it is beautiful. I think that this is a great display piece. I think uh, if, if this were to be the thing, it's an automatic purchase of three I would think I want to unbox two of them I want to have a stage that's WCW or maybe I can take two of the stages and combine them and make my own creative stage uh, yeah, keep one mint in the box or whatever for a rainy day and just uh, call it what it is man I think that would be beautiful like I love the stage I think it's beautiful and WCW and Monday Night Nitro like it does hit me it, I wouldn't say that it's like right there in my money zone. I don't think it's like, you know, top of the list. But I will say I do like this much more than the new Gen Arena one. I think the new Gen Arena one was awesome. I loved reviewing it. I think it's one of the best things Mattel's ever done. I loved all the Ultimate Editions we got in that thing. I thought it was a beautiful thing. And I was already looking forward to the next project. I like this one more than the new Gen Arena. And we don't even know what it is yet. You know, we're, we're speculating that it is the, the Nitro stage, right? Like, that's what we're kind of assuming it is. And that's what it points to be and it could be something else which I'll get into again later in the video but I do like this more than the new gen arena I think that you have a lot more on the table there's a lot more meat on the bone that you can do here in terms of characters depending on where they go though which is why I think this thing is kind of up in the air on my my feelings towards the entire thing because one thing that really hurts my feelings in this whole entire thing like because this is why I say I have mixed feelings about it is because Sting not being able to be made in Ultimate Edition form by Mattel makes 
makes this thing just sting. Like, legitimately. I know that's a pun, but it really does. It hurts. It's, like, bittersweet because it's like, oh, my God, Nitro WCW stage looks beautiful. But not being able to do my favorite WCW wrestler of all time, that really hurts. I think that having a Sting Ultimate with the coat and the bat and the interchangeable heads and the, the world championship, I mean, you're looking at a beautiful figure, man. I, I just, I am, like, just thinking of that. Like, Sting, Crow Sting is my money zone. That's, like, peak. WCW for me. That is my number one figure I would want out of all of WCW history would be an Ultimate Edition Sting with all the bells and whistles. Just truly beautiful figure. And so not being able to get Sting really sucks in my opinion. That really bothers me. Knowing for a fact that he's off the table just really puts a damper on my mood for the entire thing. However, there are other characters that you can put in this thing and I think that's awesome as well. But I just wanted to get that out there. Not having Sting on the table is is a bummer. It's bummerific. It's trash. It's terrible. However, it's a beautiful stage. I think that it's big. It looks very great. I mean, this you're talking about a magnificent piece here. So I am excited for that level of it. I really do wish Sting was on the table. It would put me over the moon about the about the project. It wouldn't even be a question. But considering all the other things that we're talking about here, man, you could you can't do Sting. You can't do Jeff Jarrett. You can't do a couple other guys. And we've already seen guys like Goldberg. Like we already saw an Ultimate Goldberg in WCW form. We've already seen Macho Man. We don't need another one of those here. I've went, I've I've listed out a list of characters here that I think possibly could be in it, and we could get into that if it's strictly WCW but I think like when you're looking at it man like I don't want to see a Lex Luger ultimate in this thing you know there, there's characters that I just do not want to see you know what I mean I do not want to see certain characters in this thing and I guess if we get them we get them but there's just a list of characters that I just don't want to see for real a figure that I think is a must grab in this thing or something that I think we will be getting I think we're going to get a an Eric Bischoff I think an ultimate edition Eric Bischoff is definitely coming in this thing I think a Booker T would also be really cool in this thing wouldn't be my first choice but I think it would still make for a cool ultimate and I think people would be intrigued about a, about a Booker T figure. Maybe a Scott Steiner would be really cool. I think people would be ecstatic about that. Obvious choices are the NWO. You know, you're, you're looking at probably Kevin, Scott, and Hogan all three together in their NWO. I guess Bash of the Beast 1996 is a potential winner there. I think they could do that as well. And one thing that I think is a lock, so one thing that appeared on my Twitter was actually from WrestleVotes, believe it or not. WrestleVotes tweeted underneath, I think it was the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, they tweeted, spoiler, it's Nitro Entrance with DDP Elite. And this was before they had announced what the crowdfunder, like before Steve made that announcement, I'm pretty sure this was already posted. And obviously people were like, an Elite? That doesn't even make sense. Why would they do a DDP Elite? And so I think that maybe they got, uh, maybe they just known about the, the term Elite and then they didn't know Ultimates existed and then they just knew that a DDP was coming with it. So they just threw DDP Elite in there. But I think this pretty much locks up DDP in his jeans in this thing as an Ultimate Edition because I don't think this would be like he called the Nitro entrance and then to say with DDP I think that kind of locks it up like that's just off the cuff just in my brain I'm already prepping for a DDP Ultimate in the jeans which is a beautiful figure I think that's great I think he will be one of the figures so I'm just going to go ahead and preface that with I think that will be a lock. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and lock that one down. I think that will be a thing. But outside of that, again, if Hulk Hogan's in this thing, which it would shock me if he isn't, I think I think like more than likely it's going to be Hulk Hogan in this thing, especially if it's only WCW. If we get into the two-in-one talk, which again, we'll get into in just a moment, I think uh, maybe Hogan, Hogan won't be in it. But if this is a strictly a WCW thing, I think Hogan will be in it. And I think it will include that new 2023 torso and skin tone and stuff like that that they talked about last year. Remember, they were like, you know, a Hulk Hogan new torso and skin tone, and we're completely redoing Hulk Hogan. I think we're going to see the debut of that. Or, not the debut, because we're going to get a lot more Hogans before that. Like, we're waiting a year for this. I don't think we would have to wait a year for, to get the new Hogan torso, but I think we'll get to see it on display or see it in render form of the new torso for the crowdfunding project, and then a year later we'll finally get that. But before that, there will be multiple Hogan releases before we get the crowdfunder in hand. If you get, if you guys understand what I'm trying to say there, so. I think the NWO as entire Ultimates would be a thing. You know, of course you have other characters that would be cool to be included, but I think Bischoff, the NWO, Scott Steiner, maybe, hell, maybe even a Rick Steiner. I think he's he is probably coming in Elite Series 104, but as a WCW singles version more than likely, I think we're going to get like an Ultimate 2-pack or like a ringside exclusive 2-pack of Ultimates or Elites 
of the Steiner Bros, probably, potentially. So I think in Elite 104, it'll probably just be a standalone WCW, Rick Steiner, WCW Elite. And then Scott Steiner could be an Ultimate Edition included here in the crowdfunder. But, I mean, guys like Dennis Rodman, you have Lance Storm, you have, you know, guys like that could potentially be on the table as well. Maybe even a Ric Flair. I mean, there are definitely options that could be included if it was only WCW. But let's get into what these people are saying. Let's get in. Let's, let's just, just spitball. Let's spitball what we're saying here for the two and one. So all the people that are saying this thing is a two and one, they're saying this is going to be an Attitude Era stage and a Nitro stage, two and one, where you can flip the pieces and you can interchange them and you can make either the Attitude Era set or the Nitro set. And so I think that would be unbelievable. I think you're looking at an easy, just massive price point, which, which I know Steve kind of prepped us for. We talked about it. And maybe that would point more towards a two and one because you, if you're going to include a two and one, you have to have Ultimate Edition figures. From both sides. You can't just, you know, you can't have a two and one and then only include four WCW guys. I think if you're going to do a two and one and it's going to truly be a crowdfunding Monday Night War set as like a special thing with both companies represented there, you got to have WWE slash WWF guys and you got to have WCW guys. So I'm thinking like four to six Ultimates probably included in this thing. Maybe four at the least. If, if it's standalone WCW, probably four at the least. Maybe three with an early bird or, or or maybe, you know, with the tiers unlocked, you can build upon that. But let's dive into this two-in-one talk. So if you had the two-in-one stage, I think obviously one of the tiers would also be they'd have to include all of And this may be a thing anyway if it's standalone WCW. You'd have to include a WCW mat and ring post and all these different things that can be interchangeable with the Attitude Era ring that came with the cane. You'd have to do that. You'd absolutely have to do that. You'd have no choice to do that because you, you, they're not going to include another ring. You're not going to get the stage, the ring again again with the ultimates i think that would be a waste i don't think anybody wants another ring i don't think we have any more room for any rings you know what i'm saying i think rings are the furthest thing from our minds i think we're looking at a year year and a half before we see another ring at least i hope so i don't want to see another ring I don't think a lot of other people want to see another ring, so I don't think a full ring would be plausible. I think interchanging the ring skirts, interchanging the turnbuckle pads, things like that would probably be on the table. I think that will be one of the tiers regardless of what the project is, but meeting in the 2-in-1, I think you're looking at that. Uh, you're also looking at Ultimate Editions on both sides. I think, uh, I think Bischoff, for some reason Bischoff just seems like such a logical thing, maybe even the Early Bird Special for me. So I think Eric Bischoff would be a cool Early Bird Special. I think DDP is... Uh, automatic unlock i think he's going to be the first tier probably uh as you build upon that maybe you can unlock hogan or maybe they have a booker t you know a, another character like that included or maybe ddp is part of the unlockables and you have the full nwo or you know you have the original nwo and hogan scott hall and kevin nash but again like for me that just kind of seems mid just because like we've already seen we, like i know we don't have ultimates of scott hall and kevin nash specifically but we have seen those guys in other forms in their WWF forms, and I don't know, that's just where I'm standing. I think that the figures will probably look badass, but I don't want to see any reuse in this thing. You don't want to see reuse. You want to see brand new molds. You want to see new things. You want to see brand new characters that we haven't seen in Ultimate form. And I think with the new gen arena, I was I, like, I'm not a diesel guy. I was not a diesel guy. I wasn't a doink guy. But I think including guys like that, I just I don't know. I like it would be amazing. I just don't know about for a crowdfunding project. But if you're going with the two in one, and you're going with you know a few WCW and a few WWF or WWE. I think an Attitude Era Vince Ultimate would be insanity. I thought that that was what we would get anyway in this crowdfunding project when I thought we were getting the Raw as War stage. So I think an Ultimate Attitude Era Vince. But if you're doing Monday Night Wars, it's got to be people that really had an effect on the Monday Night Wars. And originally I was thinking a Mankind Ultimate, and I guess you could say Mankind deserves it because, you know, of the, of the moment there between the two during the Monday Night Wars with Mankind and the Ultimate Edition. Like, I could see that, I guess, but I feel like you'd have to include a Stone Cold Steve Austin in, in the crowdfunder. If you're doing the two-in-one, for sure, if that's really what you're doing, if you're doing a Monday Night Wars, can't have a Monday Night Wars without Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I think maybe redoing the Hall of Fame Elite in a new Ultimate Edition form and, like, really fixing it up nice with all the bells and whistles with cloth shirt, with the jorts would be incredible and just to have yeah, but but then again you're getting into re re-release you're getting into Austin who we've already seen an ultimate edition for him but he could be updated like his arms were too small they had pins in them 
They could, like, and that's a beautiful Austin figure. Probably the best Stone Cold Steve Austin action figure ever made. You could easily fix it and make it even better with the jorts. I mean, you're looking at a pretty significant, like, that would be highly sought after Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate Edition action figure. So, maybe that is where they go. Maybe that, if they do do a two-in-one, I just don't see how you can do a Monday Night War set without Vince and Austin represented. So, that would probably be who would be in it if they were doing anything Raw-related or WWF-related. But if we're going strictly WCW, it's going to be be NWO, it's going to be Eric Bischoff, it's going to be iconic stuff like that, and maybe, you know, DDP, a Booker T, one of those secondary or not as, you know, not front runner, not ultimate at the top side characters, similar to how a doink was, which was kind of a deep, you know, that's a deep dive right there, like, are they going to do that for WCW here? I don't know, like, I, I, I don't know, man, there's, there's lots of things on the table, lots of speculation, I mean, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying my best to kind of dive into it as much as I can. I know you guys are gonna give me some great comments down in the comment section below, and there's probably things that I thought about that I forgot to write down that uh, will come up in the comment section below, and I'll let you guys know if I thought of the things that you're mentioning. And I can't wait to interact with you guys and find out where your head's at. But one last thing before we get out of here, I do want to mention. I wish that it was pro like I would prefer. Attitude Era or WWF over WCW, and I would prefer Ruthless Aggression Era. I would prefer Hell in a Cell over this. I would prefer, you know, things of that nature over this, especially considering that Sting is not included. If Sting was included in this, I think I'd probably feel differently on that, maybe. Like, it would just depend, man. There's lots of, you know, ifs and buts, but this, I say all that to say, this isn't my top of the line, but I still like it a lot more than the New Gen Arena, so I do have high hopes. I'm very hyped to see what the figures are going to be, who it is, what this actually is going to look like, who we're getting. All the people thinking it's a two-in-one, I don't truly believe it's a two-in-one, but it would be amazing. I would love for it to be a two-in-one, but I don't think that's going to be the case. But I do think DDP Ultimate is here, and I guess if we're getting a DDP Ultimate, maybe it isn't a two-in-one, you know what I mean? But I don't know, those are, those are different things. But one last thing I want to say is, if they really want to make this thing truly special, man, this thing gets 10,000 backers. Throw in a Jimmy King Ultimate Edition. You want to bring in the buys. You want to get people on board, man. Include a Jimmy King Ultimate Edition, man. That would put me over the moon. That would absolutely... I'd have to buy 76 of these. If they made a Jimmy King Ultimate Edition, I don't even know if that's possible. I don't even know what all approvals they would need to make that happen. But a Jimmy King Ultimate Edition would absolutely solidify this as the greatest action figure released ever. And so that would be amazing. But uh, a man can dream, you know, I, I, I may run that by Steve. I may even ask him that in person at WrestleMania Axis about a Jimmy King action figure and uh, what the, you know, what they'd have to go through to make that happen. But uh, that would be incredible. I, I just had to add that in. If we're getting a WCW Nitro deal going on here for the crowdfunder, you got to include a Jimmy King Ultimate. That would be amazing, bro. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? Or maybe a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Jimmy King. Oh my God in heaven, bro. And it would go perfectly with the crowdfunder. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. You could bring in Oliver, do some interviews. Views. I don't I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I would freak the hell out, but I want to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below, man. What are you guys thinking? Where are you sitting on it? Is it meh? Is it an L? Is it a W? I honestly, I think it's a W, but I'm still waiting to see exactly how big of a W, because it could just be one of those, you know, you hit it at the buzzer, or it could be one of those blowout wins, depending on where this sits and what bells and whistles we get and how the levels go and all those different things. I know this is a long-winded video. Again, I apologize, but hopefully you guys just enjoy sitting back and just listening and just seeing where my head's at, and I want to know where all of your guys' heads are at as well, so... Leave me all your thoughts down in the comment section below, man. Huge shout-out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Thank you guys so very much for your support. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron, click the link in the description below. We are not too far from WrestleMania Axis, man. Uh, just days away. We're days away from getting to WrestleMania Axis. Less than a week away where we are going to see more figure reveals. We're going to probably see... Well, I mean, we're going to know exactly what I'm talking about in this video very soon. And it's all going to be revealed to us, man. But I wanted to get on here, explain my thoughts... Talk about everything under the sun, but leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below, man. I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.